Ross, um, obviously now we start thick and fast with a lot of games. Saturday, Tuesday, it's our first Tuesday one against Dagenham. Obviously off the back of a, a, a defeat against Notts County. So um, you're fresh from training now, so what are your thoughts after, after today? Obviously, obviously, we will come off the back three, three defeats in a row. So like every every uh, every defeat's disappointing. I think like um, uh, there was a lot of uh, I guess repercussions from the, the from the walking away game in the second half, which we've been very clear wasn't good enough. I don't want to keep sort of like re- 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 keep going over that, but like like we, we understand that was like that was was, was pants and it wasn't the level it should be. And um, we we've talked a lot about it. So like three defeats in a row, home at Dagenham. Uh, it's important that we uh, put a good performance in and, and, and get three points because because we we want to turn the tide and and, and we're good enough to do so. Like obviously, I I think we get we, we we've had a lot of flack of of the over the last three games and you played third, third, first and 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 people people would argue that 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 is a um, we want to win. Of course, we want to win, but like oh, that's a tough run. Like mm-hmm. it's as tough as it comes, really. And um, even before that, like as a way to Gates had the game before that, so like and then home to fifth. So like the run has been has been harsh. Like some of the poor performances I get have not been good enough. But like this is an inconsistent team, and and they are a team who is going to lose three, win three, lose three, win three. That's where we're at. Um. So it's important that we that we we put that right against Dagenham, a very very good Dagenham side, like who are eighth and and, and doing really really well. And um uh, and Daryl's got them playing some playing some really good and effective football, and they've got they've got some really really good players as well. So it'll be tough. As you say, win three, lose three. We did, of course, win the three games before the festive period, if you include the Welling FA Trophy game. So, how do we turn that around now? How, what is there? You know, a change of personnel maybe in the squad, is, or is it just a change of attitude? Anything like that? Um, uh, God, I mean, I mean, this, I mean, people being positive and the support of helps. Um, I think that's really, really important. Not, not just like, not obviously, obviously, obviously we, we want the fans to be as positive as they can be and help us as much as possible, which they will. Um, we want um, the people and the staff to be as positive as you can be, but but also like like real reflection on on, on the games and and what we can do better. Like we've made big mistakes and big moments, and that needs to change. But I say like it's inconsistent because they're a new team. It's inconsistent because they're young. Um, but like, like we can't keep using the same old excuses. Um, we need we need to be better. Like I, I think like you, you can dress anything up how you want to dress it up. You go three and six, and you go oh it's not too bad. And then but actually you've you've only won two. I thought it was it two and eight eight league games, which then it's not really that good. So like it depends how you want to dress it up, isn't it? And we need to be better. We need to rectify it quicker. And like I said we, we, we took we've took a bit of, a bit of flack for for the for the previous results. And um, in reality, like. Them two teams will beat a lot of teams, like quite comfortably. Um, I think in moments we've shown a good fight, but in moments we've we've got to be better. As you say, it, it's been a tough, tough run with you know Woking and 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 Notts County. But as you say again, Dagenham are, are, are a good side. They're up there as well, and perhaps better than they may have been when we played them in when we were meant to play them in November. They they I think they've improved since then. So they're going to be no mean mean feat, are they to beat? No, and I don't. I don't think anybody is in this league really. But like, ultimately, like the top six or seven are so far away from you. Like, and I know, like, we we have this we have this idea that that um, we we want of course we want to beat Notts County Lane. Of course we want to be competitive against them. Of course we want to be a team that can can nick results against the top teams. And and it's disappointing for everyone when we're not. But like the reality is like like they've, they've got what a two mil pound budget and we're nowhere near that. Like we're like nowhere near that. And and. Even we need extra bodies and we need extra players, but players have to go out before players come in, and 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 we're not going to bring players in. Um, so that's where we're at, and and we've got to work with the players we've got who are good. But like I said, they're young, and they're a new group, and and it's going to take time. It's going to take time, like, and that's probably the most important sort of sort of message to get across. Like, if if I know I know whatever whatever our record's been like since we come in, it hasn't been as great recently. But like no matter who who comes in, it's going it's going to be going to be a challenge, or who came in, it will be a challenge, or whatever it looks like. And obviously, in terms of you know the kind of injury table, the squad fitness, we're doing all right at the moment. It's a, it's going to be a tough tough yeah. month, so we might have a few more casualties towards the end of the month. But obviously, we saw Tommy back in the squad, so is is he almost there now? Yeah, and like uh, yeah, Tommy Tommy is almost there. Like and then um, we we we've got uh, he came back on the other day. Like he's still on reduced minutes, so. That is what it is. Like our squad is small, Josh is close and, and, and getting closer. 
Um, but yeah, we are a small squad. Um, we we want to have a bigger squad, like of course. Like even just like the squad helps with like moments like this where we've got a tough fixture list and, and, and whatnot. But it helps with competitiveness and it helps like like ultimately like when a team picks itself or you just go to the same 13, 14 bodies all the time. It, it, it doesn't help with the awareness of being like competitive and pushing people and driving people to be better and, and, and that's where we sort of we need to be really like and, and to get there is, is hard because we're middle of the season you're in the middle of January where, where where obviously it opens for the sort of league clubs but like everyone wants to go to league clubs mm -hmm. so you're sort of like fishing around for everyone else but then we're not a top national league club so everyone wants to go there if they don't want to go to league clubs so you're left sort of like like Trying to trying to compete with everyone else in in the middle of the, in the middle of the season, and changing too much can always also have an impact on things like cohesion and whatnot. So you need to also manage that. But like we do need to get better. We we do need to get better in areas, and it's difficult at the minute. Click here for the latest match highlights, and click here to subscribe. Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information.